नमस्कार माई सर प्रतीक इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फुली फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंस लेट एस स्टार्ट दिस सेशन फ्रॉम दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ फुली फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंस यू कैन सी दैट एट्रीब्यूट वाई इज कंसिडर्ड फुली फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंट ऑन एट्रीब्यूट एक्स इफ इट इज फंक्शनली डिपेंडेंट ऑन एक्स एंड नॉट functionally dependent on any proper subset of x it means y is functionally dependent on x but it should not be functionally dependent on any proper subset of x in order to explain this concept let us consider this example here we are talking about a relation r having three attributes x1 x2 and y and we have to decide that y is fully functional dependent on x or not in this case x is a composite attribute which is a combination of x1 and x2 so here the combination of x1 and x2 is considered as x and we have another attribute y so y is fully functional dependent on x if and only if it is functionally dependent on x and it should not be functional dependent on any proper subset of x it mean that in this case we have to create subset of x and you can see that there are two subset of x one is x1 and another is x2 so y should not be functionally dependent on these subsets so y should be functionally dependent on this combination it should not be functionally dependent on any subset of x so when we have this particular situation then y is considered fully functional dependent on x so here y is functionally dependent on combination that is x1 and x2 which is considered as x so y is functionally dependent on x but it is not functionally dependent on any subset of x here we have two subset of x one is x1 and x2 and y should not be functionally dependent on these subsets in order to understand this concept further let us consider this example here we have a sp relation having three attributes s number p number and quantity you can see that one supplier can supply multiple parts in different quantity supplier s1 is supplying p1 and p2 part in these quantities while s2 supplier is also supplying p1 and p2 part in these quantities in sp relation the primary key is combination of s number and p number individually s number is repeating p number is repeating and quantity is also repeating so no column is unique on its own then we have to search for a combination of column to make a primary key of the relation in this case the combination of s number and p number is unique and this will act as the primary key now we have to decide about the fully functional dependence and we know that primary key will functionally determine all other non key attribute so here the primary key is combination of s number and p number and non key attribute is quantity so s number and p number will functionally determine quantity because this combination is unique so for each combination of s number and p number we have only one value of quantity so quantity is functionally dependent on s number and p number combination now let us give a thought about its fully functional dependence is s number and p number fully functionally determine quantity in this case or not in order to check for fully functional dependence we have to create subset of x here s number is considered as x1 while p number is considered as x2 and quantity is our y y is functionally dependent on x which we have already proved now y should not functionally dependent on any subset of x so here we have two subsets one is s number and another is p number so y which is quantity it should not be functional dependent on the subset let us check this for given value of supplier number that is s1 we are getting multiple value of quantity that is 100 and 120 so s number is not functionally determining quantity same is true for part number 
for a given part number we are getting multiple quantities for example p2 we are getting multiple quantities even this quantity may be different so for a given part number we are getting multiple quantities so part number is also not functionally determining quantity so this situation is true so we can say that in this example quantity is fully functional dependent on combination of s number and p number because quantity is functionally dependent on this combination and it is not functionally dependent on any of its subset that is it is not functionally dependent on subset s number and it is also not functionally dependent on its subset p number because for given s number we are getting multiple quantities and for a given p number we are also getting multiple quantities so this satisfy the condition for fully functional dependence so we can conclude that quantity is fully functional dependent on combination of s number and p number in this case to understand this concept further let us consider relation s here we have four attribute s number s name city and status here s number is the primary key and you can see that it has unique values s1 s2 s3 and s4 while s name can repeat we have raj multiple times cities can repeat and status can also repeat we know that primary key functionally determine all other non key attribute so s number will functionally determine supplier name s number will functionally determine city while s number will also functionally determine status we have also discussed in our previous session that s name is not functionally determining s number because for raj we are getting multiple values of supplier number so for a given supplier name we have a multiple values of supplier number so s name is not functionally determining supplier number while for a given city we are also getting multiple values of supplier number so city is also not functionally determining supplier number for amritsar we are getting two supplier number s1 and s2 same is also true for status for given value of status we are getting multiple values of supplier number for status 10 we are getting supply number s1 s2 and s4 so status is not functionally determining s number now let us answer this question is s number comma s name combination fully functionally determining city or not so now the question is is the combination of s number and s name fully functionally determining city or not now in order to check this the first condition is y should be functionally dependent on x so first of all we have to check that city should be functionally dependent on combination of s number and s name so let us check that whether this is true or not for a given combination of s number and s name we should have one value of city so what do you think for given combination of s number and s name how many cities we have since s number is primary key so this combination s number and s name is considered as super key this is also unique column combination so the combination of s number and s name is unique and we know that every unique column combination will functionally determine other columns so yes this is true that s number and s name combination has a single value of city because you can see that this combination of s1 and raj appear only once in the data set and for this combination we have only one value of city that is amritsar for s2 ram which is unique in this data set we have amritsar for s3 raj which is unique we have delhi for this for s4 rishan we have patiala for this so from this data set you can clearly see that the combination of s number and s name is also unique which is a super key actually and for this super key we have only one value of city so this is a case of functional dependence now in order to satisfy the case of fully functional dependence this should not be functionally dependent on any subset of x so this combination has two subset one is s number and another is s name now let us check that whether s number to city is functionally dependent or not 
since s number is unique so for each value of s number we will get only one value of city so s number will functionally determine city now give a thought about supplier name to city for given value of supplier name like raj we are getting multiple values of city so s name to city is not functionally dependent from the definition of fully functional dependent we know that it should be functionally dependent on combination but it should not be functionally dependent on any subset so it should not be dependent on any subset but in our case you can see that this city is dependent on one subset of x that is s number but according to the definition of fully functional dependence it should not be functionally dependent on x but here it is dependent so this will not satisfy the case of fully functional dependent so we can conclude that this combination s number and s name to city is not fully functional dependent because city is dependent on one subset of x which is s number and according to definition it should not be dependent on any subset so from this example we can conclude that in this case s number s name to city is not fully functional dependent while in the example of sp table quantity is fully functional dependent on combination of s number and p number because quantity is not functionally dependent on any of its subset so the concept is y is fully functional dependent on x if and only if it is functionally dependent on x this is the first requirement that y should be functionally dependent on the combination that is x but it should not be functionally dependent on any of its subset so y should not be functionally dependent on subset x1 and subset x2 if it is dependent on the subset then this should not be considered as fully functional dependence but if it is not dependent on the subset then it satisfy the requirement of fully functional dependence so in this example quantity is fully functional dependent on combination of s number and p number because it is functionally dependent on this combination and it is also not functionally dependent on any subset of x while the example of s number s name to city is not fully functional dependent because city is dependent on one subset of x that is s number in this case this is all about this session i request all of you to subscribe this youtube channel to receive latest video tutorials on topics like data mining machine learning dbms big data no sequel and many more See? to learn dbms in a simplified way you can join this online course on dbms which is available at udemy platform simplified approach to dbms is now available in the form of kindle you can download this book from amazon platform i have also created online courses on sql pl sql and machine learning all these courses are available at udemy platform you can join these courses to learn these concepts I have also authored books on data mining and data warehousing, DBMS, NoSQL, beginning with SQL and PL SQL for beginners. All these books are available at Amazon platform. To read more about this, please visit pratikbatia.com. Thanks for watching this video.